This is Jenna Burt, host of the Confessions of a Military Spouse podcast. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Before we jump into today's episode, I want to talk to all of my fellow podcasters out there. If you are like me, you love doing your podcast or some other form of side hustle, but finding the time or ways to make money doing those things can be hard and time consuming. Well, today's show sponsor, Podcorn, is here to change that narrative. Podcorn has helped me bring in extra income through sponsorships for my podcast by creating a platform that is easy to connect with brands I know and I trust. Podcorn is a marketplace connecting podcasters to amazing podcast sponsorship opportunities such as host read ads, interview segments, topical discussions, and so much more. It doesn't matter if your podcast has a huge following or a small one. Podcorn works with all shows to ensure you find the sponsorship that fits your show. With Podcorn, there is no middleman. Podcasters of all sizes can browse and choose opportunities right on the platform, set their own rates, and collaborate with brands directly without any exclusivities. You never give up any rights to your podcast. I'm going to say that again. You never give up any rights to your podcast and Podcorn is here to support you at every step and ensure you're protected and compensated for the work that you do for brands. The Marketplace mission is to give podcasters transparency, creative freedom, and full control of how and when we monetize. So click the link in my show notes to sign up to Podcorn and start browsing sponsorship opportunities right away. And once again, I'd love to say a huge thank you to Podcorn for sponsoring today's incredible episode of Your Life Matters. Welcome to Your Life Matters Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Mariah White, and I am a passionate pediatric nurse practitioner and fired up health and happiness coach here to deliver a simple message to you. This podcast is meant to provide a hope and a dream that fuels your soul to dream big and to dream bold and to inspire and empower you to live out your wildest dreams and to grab a hold onto the unwavering truth that you were made for more. What's up, guys? Happy Tuesday. I hope you are having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day you're listening to this. I just hope that your Tuesday is incredible. If you are listening to this, I ask you whatever platform, whether it's Spotify or Apple Podcast, I just want you to make sure that you've hit the subscribe button, especially if you're new to this and you had seen it shared with you by a friend or somebody on social media, or if you just happen to just start following me and you heard that I do a podcast, I want you to hit the subscribe button because what that way you are notified every single Tuesday, a brand new episode gets launched and you will have it download straight to your platform and you'll be able to listen whenever it's convenient for you. And that's why I love podcasts, literally having personal development and tools and tangible things that you can apply to your life right there at a click of a button. So go over, hit subscribe, make sure you leave a rating and review and let me know how you feel about today's episode or whatever episode you're listening to because I really truly believe that the Your Life Matters podcast community is here and I'm here to serve you. And today is just such a special day and I am going to try to not get emotional when I talk about this, but I really thought that today would be the perfect day to segue and reflect on the last four years of my life because for those of you who know me and have listened to many episodes of the podcast or follow me on social media or you happen to be a near and dear friend of me, mine or a part of my team, you know that today is the four-year anniversary of saying yes to life. I love how 
I said that this time because over the last couple of years that response has evolved. It went from I said yes to coaching. Um, I said yes to become a health and happiness coach. I said yes to beach body coaching because that is the um, platform that I had partnered with back four years ago before I became Dr. White or a podcaster or anything else. But really, truly, the bottom line comes to four years ago. December 17th, 2015, I was holding a nine millimeter in my hand with every intention on taking my life, every intention on walking away from everything that I knew. I had every intention on no longer being here because the things that were weighing on my life, the things that were weighing me down just became too heavy. I think about that now as I fast forward four years later and I think about all the incredible things that I've accomplished or been a part of or been able to experience and I thank God every single day for my amazing best friend Sarah and my coach who decided to invite me to an opportunity to save my life. I was broken. I was broke. I was unhealthy. I was depressed, clearly suicidal. And I thought that I just could not do it anymore in this life because I just didn't feel like I was worthy. I just didn't feel like I could come to grips with what was going on in my life. And I just didn't feel like I would be missed. And I realized that there had always been a part of me that believed that I was made for more, that I could go and achieve my dreams, that I could really make an impact, even if that meant one person at a time, one patient at a time, one moment at a time. But for some reason, I allowed everything in my life to fester, whether it started in my childhood, whether it was my mother and I's relationship, whether it was homelessness, whether it was the toxic situation that I was in, whether it was just being overwhelmed as a burnt out bedside nurse, just running ragged, being completely worn down, not feeling appreciated, making literally ends meet, especially after getting out of school and feeling like I just, you know, got a fortune in student loans. And I just felt like I couldn't catch breath. I was like swimming and swimming and swimming and nobody was seeing or helping me and everybody was watching me drown around me and I couldn't do anything. And I just felt like if I just gave up and stopped fighting, it might be easier. So what I did instead is I decided to take a leap, a huge leap of faith And I said yes to an opportunity and it completely changed my life. It completely saved my life. And I was able to see the light for me in the sense of my dreams did matter. My story did matter. My mess was really my message to help other people through situations of homelessness or sexual assault or toxic relationships or you know, single motherhood or pregnancy or whatever the situation was, depression, postpartum depression, whatever it was, I knew that my mess had now become my message. And as the years went on, since I said yes, back in December, 2015, things have evolved and I became a passionate health and happiness coach. I lost 35 pounds in 60 days. I never looked back. I've really fueled my body with the adequate nutrition I needed. I kept that through my entire pregnancy. Pregnancy. I, you know, did it from, for my entire postpartum. I lost all the weight right after I had my daughter and back to looking my, like my normal self. And I'm proud to say that. And even though that wasn't the goal, I'm proud that I had a healthy pregnancy the entire time and was able to get right back on track postpartum. But I mentally learned how to cope with anxiety and depression and understand how to live a healthy life, how to go after healthy things, how to surround myself with amazing people. That's the changer and the changer of surrounding myself with the community of women who just support me in such massive ways. My team that I've built, I've built a top 
team who has back-to-back years hit a amazing leadership rung in our business. And I'm proud to say that. I'm proud to say that I have an elite group of women that I work with. I'm proud to say that I have, you know, worked my butt off to be able to match my six-figure salary as a nurse practitioner. I'm proud to say that I've been able to, you know, take a full 12-week maternity leave, pay off $80,000 of student loan debt, be able to live in a house that is way too big for one person. I'm proud that I am able to have all of these things and it's not the materialistic things guys I need you to hear me but I need you to also remember where I came from when you don't have a place to call home and then you shift and you have a home that is full of love and peace and prosperity and things that bring you happiness, whether that is a cup of coffee or a simple Christmas tree with Christmas lights or just a glass of eggnog hanging out with my daughter as she's playing, like you don't understand the magnitude of what that feeling could bring until you're in that moment. So for me, this episode, I wanted to share how one decision, no matter how scary, can truly change your life. I remember being broke. I remember not having enough to say yes to Sarah four years ago. I remember saying that this is exactly what I have in my bank account and I'm not going to be able to eat for the next couple of days. But I know that I needed to do this because it was either that or it was pull the trigger. So I decided to pull the trigger in a different way. I pulled the trigger in life. I pulled the trigger to believe that I could go after what I wanted. I pulled the trigger knowing that in the future, I was going to build a legacy for my daughter. I pulled the trigger knowing that sometimes you just have to blaze the freaking trail. You have to go after things that make people feel uncomfortable. You have to just be willing to say, yep, I'm going to be the first and I'm going to do it. No matter how unorthodox it sounds, I'm just going to do it and I'm going to do it for me. That, my friends, is the ultimate courage. That is the ultimate courage and that is what separates the people that you see, that you dream of their life or you wish that you had a fraction of what they had and that's not to say I want you guys thinking about that from me I want you guys to look at what I have and hear my stories and know that you can get it too but I want you to say instead of looking at them and say I want what they have I want you to look at it and say why not me Why can't I have my dream life? What's stopping me from really being able to achieve all of my goals and my dreams? I can tell you what the answer is. It's false evidence appearing real. It's fear. It's something that someone has told you or that you have told yourself in hopes that it would stop you from that dream. Well, let me tell you a secret. Your dreams don't stop. Your goals don't quit. Your vision doesn't stop casting just because you choose not to go after them. You're still going to dream it. You're still going to think it. You're still going to wish it. You're still going to want it. Even if you suppress it, even if you choke it down, you're still going to want and wish and hope for the same damn thing. The only difference is... If you actually stepped into it and went after it, you'd be so freaking surprised at how far you'd go and how much you'd get that you would probably surpass your dream, achieve your goal, and hit a vision that was so damn big that it shocked the crap out of you because you would say, I thought I could just get this, but I got so much more. When I started this four years ago, all I wanted to do was be able to pay for my grocery bill and make sure that the light stayed on. That was it. And then it became, I wanted to make sure that I could surround myself with people I actually wanted to work with. And then it became, okay, I can pay for some trips and go on vacation because I wasn't able to do that as a kid. 
And then it turned into, I can pay off my student loans and really just kind of just tackle this and pay extra money. And then it became, I can take 12 weeks off and spend time with my daughter. And then it became, I want to be home with her, so I'm going to take a huge pay cut so that I could have an extra day with her. And then it became, this could be something that builds a legacy and changes my daughter's life forever. What I thought four years ago isn't what I thought today. How I thought my life would look wasn't anywhere near what I thought it was going to look like today. It's so much more. And I have chills saying that. I have tears coming in my eyes because, guys, you don't understand that if you actually were in my place, and maybe you are, friend, hear me, hear my heart. If you're in a place right now where you are like me, holding a gun in your hand in a closet somewhere, thinking that you would be better off dead or feeling like nobody sees you, I see you. I feel you. You're amazing. You're wanted. You're needed. You're loved. You're worthy. You're more than enough and you matter. You matter to me. You matter to this life. Go after your dream. Dream bigger than you ever thought possible. I promise you that if you continue to just go, you will in four years completely blow your mind. You will be so much further than the dream you had. Dream big. Dream bold. Choose life. I want you to live your life every single day as if it's your last. I want you to think about, did I live? Did I love? And did I matter? Can you answer those three questions at the end of the day, every single day, Because if you can't, you didn't live your best day. And you might not get tomorrow. So when you think about your dream or your goal or your vision, why not you? Success is not above you. Go after your wildest dream. Achieve the crazy thoughts. Leap. Leap. Don't let fear hold you back, not another second of the day. Don't make another bullshit excuse about you don't have time or the money or the effort or the whatever or you are waiting for your kids to get older. Whatever the case is, you're scared and it's okay to be scared, but you can still act and be scared. You can still do and be scared. So right now is my swift kick to your butt to tell you you're amazing You are capable and you will make it freaking happen. I'm here to believe in you. I'm here to encourage you, but you have got to start today. My sweet friend, you are incredible. If you are needing any ounce of mentorship, if you are looking for a way to be a part of a community of women who are going to support you, if you are looking to get healthy as we venture into the end of the year and on to the 2020 year and the new decade, if you are looking and you're saying, I just want to start a business, but I don't know how, if you're like, hey, I want to advance in my career, hey, I just need you to help me with my brand or look at my social media, or I just need to talk to you about feeling depressed and suicidal or anxious in any way, please message me at Dr. Fit White or email me. I would love to connect with you. I would love to mentor you. I would love to work with you. But above all, share this episode. Share this episode because just like we talked about in the beginning, you can make an impact. And I feel like this episode is going to make an impact and I want to spread it to every single human being on this planet to remind them that they are loved and wanted and needed and that their mess is a message. Their story matters and they deserve to freaking be here and live their best life. Why not you, my friend? Success is not above you. You are amazing and your life matters.